All right, let's take a look at some additional things that we can do with the Ubertooth and what's already built into Dragon OS LTS. I'm going to work on uh, documenting uh, some of the command line tools that are included here uh, in Dragon OS. I know uh, not a lot is shown in the actual uh, little menu down here in the bottom left. We know that uh, I put everything that I install from source in the user source directory so you can see uh, what's there you can update it uninstall reinstall whatever you want to do with it but a lot of stuff is also installed via package managers and you may not know um, that the tools are available so for uber tooth we can see there's some built-in tools and some functionality uh, i have an uber tooth plugged in i can see what the firmware version is i can see that uh, we can pull up a, a graphic user interface for uh, like a spectrum analyzer using the, the Ubertooth. That's another pretty powerful tool that's included and available with the newer firmware versions. And I probably should point out again, this is the same Ubertooth uh, that uh, HackerWarehouse.com sent me. So I just want to go over some additional uses. Uh, it was really nice of them to send that out here. So um, something else I've included in Dragon OS is Blue Hydro, and this works in the background with Sparrow Wi-Fi, but if you want to use it on its own, you can come to the GitHub page and read about Blue Hydro. Uh, the important thing to note is the Ubertooth is not a supplement to uh, an internal blue, uh, Bluetooth card or a uh, UD100. It is something they recommend using with it, uh, so you can't really use Blue Hydro uh, just with an Ubertooth, but just to show you where you would uh, get to it is uh, this is the directory that I have it pre-installed for the purposes of spare Wi-Fi but you can see if you go in here you have access to and you would run it with uh, sudo but you see you have access to blue hydro if you try and run it with just an Ubertooth you're going to get that following um, warning that pops up there but uh, if you do have uh, something that you can plug in, it's a powerful tool that allows discovery of uh, uh, both classic and low energy Bluetooth devices over time. So you can use that for tracking Bluetooth devices. Uh, let's see. But what I want to take a look at is uh, Uber Ducky. And now if you do this, you're, you're essentially changing the firmware on the rubber or the, the uh, Uber tooth and there's a technique to get it to switch back so uh, I don't have two Uber tooth so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use I'm going to change the Uber tooth to an Uber ducky and then I do have a uh, Raspberry Pi 3 sitting uh, about 15 feet away and I'm going to use its Bluetooth to trigger this uh, both to execute the script as well as uh, change it back to DF U mode so we can get it back to a regular Ubertooth. But we can see we need uh, a few things pre installed, and this is from the Uberducky GitHub page here. This does not come uh, already uh, included in Dragon OS, but it's very simple. Uh, we'll add some additional packages. We will, let's see, we'll pull down the repository and I know normally I stick everything in the user source directory but I want to point out that if you fo are following along and you feel more comfortable you can essentially um, put it wherever you want in your home uh, directory say if you chose downloads uh, you then of course do not have to put sudo as much as I usually do Let's see, we would change into Uber Ducky. We see we had, okay, so we have everything that we need installed. We have the repository downloaded. It's an additional step that we need to take here, right here. We will change into the Uber Ducky folder here. And we can run the 
get submodule. I'm going to make sure that's there. Okay, so with that in place, uh, prior to flashing the river tooth, let's take a look at the script that's included in here. And let's make a let's make something for uh, for Windows. Something real simple here. Let's see. We can do. Something like this. We'll try this. And there's a lot of uh, scripts out there that you can uh, download. You can find payloads here at uh, Hack, uh, Hack 5. They have a lot of different uh, for Windows and Linux and uh, Mac. They have a lot of pre built uh, Ducky scripts. So let's see. We see. Anytime we want to change the script, we would have to uh, rerun. We would have to essentially make the script, and then we could do we could you know edit the script again. You make, and each time it's going to make a firmware that you're going to have to flash. And if you want to flash it, you have to, and I'll sh I'll show you that you have to do something to get it back in the DFU mode, but Let's uh, let's see here. So, let's use the utility here, just like it says. Okay, we've now flashed the firmware in the Uber Tooth. It's now prepared to be an Uber Ducky. I'm going to change it over and plug it into a virtual machine here, in this case, Windows. Okay, we can see it might, uh, might have to consider it might give it away here if it were to say setting up something. Okay, so it's, it's plugged into Windows. Now let's pull up a... Raspberry Pi here and this like I said this is about 10 or 15 feet away from the Windows computer now to trigger the uber ducky you can use another uber tooth if you had it flashed very simple or if you don't you can use another computer with uh, running Linux with uh, with Bluetooth and essentially just copy and paste the special packet command that they've got here in order to, let's see, I'm going to try and time this out. So we're going to do this here, we're going to send the packet, and then I'm going to quickly switch over to Windows. So, all right, I sent the packet. You can see it opened up and did exactly what you would expect, very similar to a, uh, uh, I'm drawing a blank, a rubber ducky sorry so now the advantage is you set it up you plug it in and you I don't know distract someone or something like that you send the the Bluetooth uh, trigger and there you go you've executed maybe you uh, like the github page for uber ducky suggests you've kind of put the uh, uber tooth out of sight um, and it's just laying there and wait so Yet another use for the uh, Ubertooth. Now, 
if you want to get your functionality of the Ubertooth back, you need to, of course, reflash the stock firmware. And to do that, we have to send another special packet. And first, I'm going to remove the Ubertooth from the virtual machine. I'll put it back over into our into the Linux box, run in Dragon OS. I will paste in the uh, other packet that's needed to be sent, and then I will switch back over uh, to the Linux box. We can remember how to update the, the firmware from the Great Scott Gadgets page. Let's download the 2018 release again. Got that downloaded. Let's extract that. And what we want to do is flash our device back. So we'll come into the Ubertooth just like I showed in the other video. We're in the bin folder. There we go. It's in DFU mode because I sent the special packet. And now we can see, oops, uh, let's see. Ah, sorry, we sent, we flashed the firmware. We need to unplug the Ubertooth, plug it back in. And now we can see we are back to the normal functionality of the Ubertooth. All right, I figure I wanna do a few more videos, not just uh, solely focused on um, just the spectrum analysis or uh, radio side of things, but also some other things that you can do with the software-defined radios, uh, such as uh, the Ubertooth. All right, thank you.